good trip, man. Um, I took off um to go to the um, premiere. Um, actually, um, it was a showing of the um, bipolar. bipolar rock and roller with yeah. um, Moro Ranello, um, who works with the WWE as well as Showtime as well as Bellator. Um, Guy does a little bit of everything. He does a little bit of everything. I've been listening yeah. to this guy's voice for so many years, and to um, you know, hear the story. You know, it, it was a, a thing going on. Um, you know, a few couple of years ago, back when um, you know, Morrow first came in, it was an incident that happened. You know, between him and JBL, and, and and the thing is, it was something very very small. It was something in 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 most instances would have been um, minute, uh, literally, um, but. Sometimes you just don't know what one person is going through. You see them on the outside and you say everything's fine, but you just don't know what's going on inside of their mind, inside of their brain, that piece of equipment that's just like a machine, man. Um, you know, one, you know, faulty, you know, um, part could literally send the whole thing, you know, um, um, in the chaos. And, and that's what we don't understand, I think, about, you know, bipolar. You hear the name. Um, bipolar, and it's been called so many different things um, over the years, you know what I mean? In the 60s, it was called something else. In the 70s, it was called now in 2018, it's called bipolar. But if you have not, you know, watched the um, debut debut of uh, Bipolar Rock and Roller, if you haven't, you know, checked it out, go back and, um, you know, um, uh, check it out. I think it's on Showtime. It's on, it's on Showtime. Yeah. I'm sure you can um, on demand it um, and check it out, but it will really open your eyes to what, bipolar really honestly and truly is and how it can affect one's life, how it could just take over um, one's life. And and I tell you, um, I've been knowing Moro for quite some time. And, you know, like I said, on the outside looking in, you think everything is fine. But when you watch this documentary, um, you're going to go, wow, this, this is um, eye-opening. And, and it's something that should be told by someone like Moro who's walking through it who's willing to open up and let the world see it. Perhaps someone just like him walking through that same life don't understand what this thing is really all about. See someone who's still successful, still made it, who who, who literally beat all the odds, you know what I mean, after being in the hospital several times. You know, that right there um, is it, a testament to who Mauro Ranello really is. You know, I'd always been aware of bipolar disorder. I've always heard it. And I think it's a term also in my lifetime that had been watered down. I think people use it as a descriptor for people like, oh, you know, they're just acting bipolar, you know, like a hot and cold kind of thing. And I never really was able to grasp, you know, what it really was and, and how serious it was. I always thought it was just like, you know, mood swings, you know, really, you know, like yeah. like maybe some of our, you know, fine women folk might have from time to time. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm yeah, kidding. Yeah, yeah. I'm kidding. Our, or Joanna just looked at me with some, <laughs> some eyes over there. But you know what I mean? I, I didn't know. I really didn't know what, what it was. And then when you when you hear Morrow talk about it and, and you see him go through so many dark times where, you know, he's even contemplated ending it all. I mean, I heard him talk about that. And it's yeah. just like you don't, you know, it's it's said so many times you don't really understand. But you don't really know what someone's going through. And, and I think this documentary, more than anything, is not only going to help people who do have that uh, terrible, terrible disorder or disease of, of bipolar disorder, but it's also going to help people like you and I who weren't really educated on it and didn't know the severity of the symptoms of this disorder and, and what a guy like – and for Mauro Ranallo, let me say this, for him to be able to accomplish the things that he's accomplished in his life, calling uh, the Maymac fight, right, Mayweather versus uh, uh, Pacquiao. M M uh, McGregor, no, McGregor. McGregor. Okay. Uh, to call that fight – to be able as well to, as Mayweather, uh, Pacquiao yeah, as well. and, and to do so many fights with Bellator, all live on pay per view, yeah. to do the WWE, yeah. to do NXT, for him to accomplish all that and be fighting this at the same time is nothing short of remarkable. And if it wasn't for this documentary, I, I don't think my respect level of Mauro Ranallo would have been even as high as it is now. I was already respecting him for the things he accomplished, but to accomplish it with that disorder. And having to deal with that yeah, yeah. on a daily basis. It's not something that he can take a pill for and never think about it again. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's not like when we go to the doctor when we have a, a cold and they give you the antibiotic and they say, uh, you know, take two of these every hour or what have you, right? This is something, he, it's a daily, monthly, yearly, weekly, constant struggle dealing with. And I have so much respect for Mauro Ranallo seeing this and knowing what he went through and, and being able to come out the other side and still do what he wanted to do and loved to do. 
Uh, it's just incredible. You know, people respect you when you're willing to um, go out there and put yourself out there like that. Um, Mer- Moro is is great at, at what he does, um, and I and I tell it all the time right here on the show. Cream always rises to the top. Um, you can't hold um, someone down who just got you know pure talent. Uh, this guy got a photogenic memory. Um, uh, he's he was a guy uh, who who was talking about how he thought it was all over. How you know one breakdown he ended up you know in a hospital, and um, you know he just knew it was over, and you know and, and he got a phone call. You know what I mean? And and that phone call, I always talk about it, guys. If someone reached their hand out and say, I'm going to give you some help, you know, take it, man. Take that help, you know, because he said he found himself in a dark place. And then, you know, everything turned around for him. And, you know, Pacquiao, Mayweather, the biggest fight of his career, he's calling it. Yeah. That that that, that right there. Gotta Incredible. Be, it got to be incre- I got goosebumps just thinking about it. Yeah. Um, For him to have gone what he's gone through, but. He knew he was going to be something in life. He knew he wasn't going to let this this disease hold him back. He knew that, and um, and for him to actually go out there and, and, and put himself out there to help others, that's the guy. I, I got to give him a lot of credit for that. And you know what? Also, props to Showtime and props to WWE. When Morrow was going through something and he had to step away from both companies, you know, because he was fighting this battle with bipolar disorder, for both companies to reach back out to him and say, "Hey, Morrow, we understand. Come back. We want you here." You're part of the family. We're going to find a spot for you, and you always have a place here with us. That shows a lot about um, WWE and Showtime. And then Morrow to be able to, just like you said, battle through it and, and accomplish so many big, big things in his career. you got to give your hats off to the guy. You, you know, have to see I think this. That, I think this is just going to open up so, more, um, so many more do- doors uh, for people with this disease because – a lot of times, you know, when you when you're dealing with something in in secret, no one knows it but but you. It's it's definitely harder to deal with. Um, it's like you know, you know, like gay people being in the closet. You know, I mean, when they come out, I'm sure they feel a whole lot better. Yeah. Than than having to just you know live like that. You know, man, life is short. Can you can you imagine going through life and and not being yourself, not having someone knowing what you're going through and I, and I and I talk about it going back to the um the incident with with Morrow earlier you know when he first came into WWE you know you never know what someone's going through I always try to treat people you know with respect um because you just never know what's going on in someone's daily life you know people come up to me all the time you know they may see me in a grocery store and they want photos you know what I mean? I might go to the mall, go to the movies. You know what I mean? They want to, you know, hang out, take a selfie or whatever. They want to an autograph or whatever. You know, what I, and I and I try to make sure I do it. But you know, I could have had a death in the family that day. You know, I could have lost one of my best friends. You know, mere moments before you ask me that. You know, so we're human, just like everyone else. We walk through it just like everyone else. We feel pain just like everyone else. But but to be. Um, going through that struggle and knowing that you're in a position that you can help someone else out, you know, I, I think, you know, that, that, that's a true man right there. That's, that's a real man. That's a real man, dog. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I'm serious. And, and I want to ask you though, how did he feel though? Cause you were there at the premiere yeah. with him. I know you got to talk to him a little bit. Uh, did you see him after the screening? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And what was his, how did he feel to be in a theater with so many people oh, man. seeing his struggles? It, he definitely, um, you could tell, you know, it touched him, you know, it touched him, you know, that so many people was willing to help him when he was down, you know, people that didn't have to, you know, people like Boz Rudin, people like Frank Shamrock, so many more people that was instrumental, you know, in his life, you know, his mom, you know, <laughs> mom can always help. Can't Man, she? <laughs> it, it, it's amazing, you know, and um, to see the person that he is, you know, um, you know, I give him nothing but profit. And like you said, you know, Showtime, you know, big props to Showtime, you know, um, big props to WWE for, you know, doing doing their part. Um, the, 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 the setting that we had, you know, watching the uh, premiere that was 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 really, really awesome. And and for me, I got a phone call and, uh, and you know, I was asked, you know, if I wanted to be a part of it, if I, if I wanted to go. And, and I did not think twice um, if I wanted to go and, um, you know, support Moro, uh, 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 not, not for a second, be, because I felt like it. I needed to learn more, like you say, about bipolar because it's just a name that you hear. Yeah, 100%. And, and you really don't understand it unless you do some research on it 
unless you know somebody with it. You know, we know about cancer. You know what I mean? Um, because, you know, someone we know perhaps have been touched by. You know, um, so but and it's something that's so prevalent. It feels like that doing, we're, we're always talk, told about it. They're doing so much research on it. So yeah. much money is going into it. Um, um, with bipolar, like you say, you could you could hear it and you could think it. You know, got something to do with weight loss. <laughs> you know, I'm serious. You know, like you say, it, it, it could. You know, like you say, mood swings. You could think it's something yeah. other than what it really truly is. And so I I, I say, guys, go and check out uh, Mauro Ranello's bipolar rock and roller um on showtime on demand check it out um it's a must see for 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 anyone uh, i th- i think you'll get a whole lot out of it as well as this dude's talented man guy can play piano guy can sing he can do rap he can do everything <laughs> it's crazy i'm serious <laughs> yeah he's was, great a lot of the music that's in the documentary is music that he, he did himself incredible how, how awesome is that 